people are talking about making America a Christian nation. Would you support that? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, the values, uh, you know, I thought that's what we built the country on was uh, my impression. But obviously things got twisted along the way. If, if, in, it's pretty disheartening to see what's going on. So many people are unaware of the just general challenges in life, uh, what's, what's going on behind the scenes on the bad side. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Um, well, conspiracy theories, tin hat guy, call it what you will. Uh, I've been in uh, in the rabbit hole deep in, in all directions. And over the last couple of years, I've been awake for a long time. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, you know, deep in the rabbit hole, uh, verifying incidentals, uh, looking at videos, checking backgrounds, you know, doing homework. I had to vet everything. And uh, I was never a real church kind of guy, but in the last couple of years, I've gotten real spiritual in here. You know, you have to get with yourself. What happens to people who are not Christian in this country, who are atheists, who are Jewish, who are Islamic? If America is religious freedom and there is a, an, an, a sort of a mandate for Christianity in America, what happens to that? Uh, Repeat the question. I'm sorry. The, the, well, what, what, do, what do we say to our Jewish brothers and sisters if we're saying we have a Christian nation? I, I wouldn't necessarily even call it uh, pushing Christianity or like I don't even go there. I'm like, I am what I am. So knowing that gives me my spirituality. So that's a worldwide thing. That's not Islamic. That's not Hebrew or Jewish or German or any other. It's, it's humankind. In my book, that's kind of how things sort of seem to work, you know, if you're paying attention. I believe it always has been a Christian nation. I, be I believe that there is a uh, covenant with, uh, with God, and he will not let this country go, and it will come uh, back to what it was supposed to be, out of the slave state. Explain that a little bit. But what, the slave? No, yeah, no, what you mean by what it will become what it was supposed to be, and you're... From your perspective, what does that mean? My perspective is that it, uh, under godly um, uh, in instruction and uh, biblical principles, uh, as uh, I believe God uh, uh, created government even in the Bible, and there's like uh, different ways to do things. The goal is to spread the truth as we know it, uh, share Jesus, which is uh, the ultimate truth. How do, we ex how do we explain, then, the slave state part of this? I believe we became a slave state in 1870 when our birth certificates started to get sold to the uh, companies. And, uh, and so there's like uh, three different kinds of laws out there. And I'm, I don't understand it completely. I'm still so were we Christian while we had slavery here? Well, being Christian is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. No, I meant as a nation, because we were talking about as being a, a Christian nation? nation. That's what you had said before. Well, well yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were. But, but uh, many of us were deceived, and many of us were not accountable uh, due to... Uh, Church is not teaching the truth about different things. I see. Just saying as far as like the uh, Christianity saying as a Christian nation and as far as a religious perspective, I don't think it goes with each different religion. I think it's just a belief in God and a belief in your own beliefs and values and morals in the country.